This is the story of some pigs, a bank, a businessman, and a program called Ames that brought them together. I bought the farm. I bought this piece of land. And he called it Markon Farms in Gitanga, Kenya. Moses is an engineer by training, but he believed there was money to be made in agriculture. He just wasn't sure how. I wanted to do cows. But when I went to look for the cows, I found pigs. So I started keeping pigs. Uh, my population of pigs grew up to about 500. Then swine flu hit me and wiped the whole farm. Meanwhile, in Nairobi, pig problems were plaguing the back office at Century Microfinance. Uh, Century Microfinance as a business had decided that uh, they want to go and uh, support uh, this pig value chain. So we go in, we don't know much about pig farming apart from what we assume do we know about pig farming. Uh, by the time we met them, the pilot was not very successful. My people, the, the credit officers, didn't understand how to appraise loans uh, under the pig value chain. A pig takes between six and eight months to mature, uh, and our loans are usually paid monthly. So the farmer is discouraged with going on with the venture. My loans end up not being paid. They had not focused on the market. They had to ensure that at least there is a linkage between the agribusiness SME and also the market. Agribusiness SMEs. The small and medium enterprises, the processors, the aggregators, the commercial farms, they are the missing link between producers and markets in sub-Saharan Africa. The market is there. People with the right skills are there. The farm is there. The farmer is there. But the communication is broken or the linkages are not there. So the USDA has funded a five-year program implemented by global communities called AIMS, Agribusiness Investment for Market Stimulation. In Kenya, Malawi, and Tanzania, global communities teams are addressing the challenges that hinder SME markets and profits. They are upgrading SME's business capacity by connecting them to vetted consultants. They're developing links to new markets, new skills, and new partners through an ambitious program of forums, trade fairs, and business-to-business -business conferences. And in this case, they are overcoming one of the biggest challenges for SMEs, finding lenders. The bankers didn't trust much SMEs who are working in the agricultural sector. So the program started with the capacity building to the financial institutions. AIMS was, uh, had developed a curriculum with the Kenya School of Monetary Studies. This curriculum uh, is called ECAF, ECAF for Executive Certificate in Agri Agricultural Finance. The ECAF training that I received through global communities helped me understand how to structure a loan to fit the needs of the client. We've even had to hire vets as our credit officers because they understand some of these things better than us. One key lesson, successful lending is a partnership. SMEs need to learn responsible business practices and banks need to learn agriculture, how to help SMEs to find reliable markets, quality input suppliers, necessary extension and veterinary services. We had to go through a lot of training, how to, um, how to work with our farmers, how to sensitize our farmers, how to support our farmers. And how to find those farmers. With AIM's support, Century took to the road, holding education and promotion conferences, connecting with stakeholders, and promoting their new loan products for SMEs. SMEs like Moses, who has restarted that pig farm with the last of his money, but now cannot find quality feed for his animals. My population of 500 has now come back. But the feeds were not growing at all. So, here I am. I have animals. I don't have money to feed them. So, essentially we're having a confluence somewhere with, with farmers. And that is where Moses met Century's business development manager, Hiram Kamau, and a mutually profitable friendship was born, along with a healthy line of credit. We saw there's a gap. The gap is the feeds. So Moses is now grinding his own feed on his own mill, and with Century's financial and technical support, he hopes to become a profitable feed supplier for a growing group of local smallholder farmers like Margaret Warire who, by the way, got her pig farm started with a loan from Century Microfinance. And I started with the two pigs. From there, my mind grows wider. 
The growing herd reflects Century's effort to go beyond the SMEs to reach the financially underserved small farmers as well, especially the one half that are women. Currently, we really have low numbers in terms of the women who have been able to access finance. The collateral is in the name of their husbands, their fathers. At conferences like this one in Nairobi, Ames is providing technical support to help lenders address this gender imbalance. And with examples like Century, lenders are discovering that agriculture loans in these sectors can boost the economy and the bank's bottom line. The Minister of Agriculture for Muranga County came to us and said, I think this project is really working well in Gatanga. Why don't we duplicate the same system across the whole county? And I believe once we do that, then we'll, we can also roll it out nationally. So Century is looking to go national. Moses is pitching the bank on his next big plans to become a pig breeder for local farmers. We can have a model farm, a breeding facility. And Margaret could end up being Moses' best customer. She paid off her $3,000 loan and sold 50 pigs last year. The one I, I come to 200 pigs, that is when my dreams come to. From lenders to SMEs to smallholders, Ames Credit Initiative is helping develop a sustainable financial framework for agribusiness growth and profits.